It's just after midnight on the night of the 21st of January, and about a week and a half since the last update. And uh, despite being away for a couple of those days, there's a lot been going on and putting some long hours trying to get things done and at least get the dirty work done so that we could possibly move in in the next two weeks. At least the phone line is going to be moving um, from where we're living now to this house uh, Thursday next week, which means my office definitely will be moving then. And uh, I think the rest of us will follow soon after. So I'm here now in uh, my son's room uh, where the last time we had a video the ceiling had just been prepared for plastering and the day after that video the plastering was done so now it's dry and it's we didn't use clay this time uh, we just thought it'd be easier to use uh, a lime cement based plaster uh, so it's just quicker uh, easier to do and um, yeah we didn't want to go to any great length of hassle because it was a last minute decision and we wanted the thing to, to harden and then done. So it's actually ready for painting now. So it's 10 days after it's been done. We've been airing the place, the heating on and uh, I think tomorrow we'll start with uh, yeah, priming it and getting it ready for painting. But of course, that wasn't just the only job. Uh, so I spent uh, last Saturday, I think it was, uh, doing this kind of filling work above the beams. And uh, that takes quite a while. So that's still uh, still wet, well not wet, a bit damp, just has to cure a little bit and dry out. Uh, but that's kind of last decorative touches. And otherwise, yeah, gaps have been filled. A bit of sanding needs to be done. But all over the place here, so the past couple of days I've been working on making more uh, skirting boards or baseboards, depending on where you're from. And these were from old, um, actually the old floorboards from this room, the original floorboards. So I think they're pine or um, fur or something like that. So, <laughs> big thanks to our friend Sacha again with his uh, circular saw. We, uh, instead of me doing it with a handheld circular saw, uh, we got all the, the widths, everything's the same width, and passed through the circular saw. And then yesterday I passed it through the uh, thickener, so the table plane, to get them all the same thickness, and then uh, used the router to put the fancy edge on. And then I uh, primed them, well, yeah, primed them last night. And uh, then today, give them a bit of a sanding and put on a base coat. I would have liked to get the first final coat on, uh, but yeah, it needs to dry out for 10 to 12 hours or so. So uh, I'll do that tomorrow after work. And uh, yeah, once that's done, then we can finish the living room, get the skirt against the living room and start moving furniture in, I guess. Uh, another stuff I've been doing this evening is finishing off some of the, the deep window sills. So for the dormer windows, uh, you know, that's about 45 centimeters deep and that will go in here. And uh, other stuff that's been happening, this is really nice out here. So my wife has been really busy as well. Finally, the, the holes uh, up here at the stairwell have been painted. Uh, window sill is in there just roughly, uh, so I just sized it. And uh, tomorrow it needs to be planed a bit and sanded and then I, yeah, then I can varnish it and whatever. And I think in the last video I mentioned this hallway that we thought it was getting so kind of cute looking and uh, should we close the hole where we plan to put the stairs and yeah, did it. So uh, Thursday last week, uh, I just spent the night till 12.30 or something and um, yeah, put up uh, lats and plasterboard and then that's a uh, clay based uh, strike puts uh, so it's basically a yeah, plaster that you can roll or paint on uh, clay based so it has a similar finish to uh, the actual clay plaster so but a lot more even obviously because it's plasterboard but yeah this is a nice little area now so uh, whatever we're going to do here and uh, once this is finished here so I also put some walling here uh, to tidy this up so this is going to be a bathroom eventually uh, but yeah, not yet. Maybe give it another few months before I even think about tackling that. Need a bit of a rest after that, so that'll be closed off. The door will be there. And uh, once this little bit is painted, then we can get the flooring done. And uh, nothing else happened in here, in our room, uh, except instead of skirting here, uh, we might use hemp rope. Uh, the reason being that in these kind of areas where we've got beams on the floor, um, you know, there's a, obviously a gap uh, where the floorboards come up and usually that's covered by skirting 
But because everything's so even, oh, uneven, I should say, um, where we've got beams or where there's uh, half timbered walls there, for example, uh, you know, you can't really put skirting there. Or where you've got uh, nice straight walls where skirting would be nice, but then you've got a beam hitting it. I think it would look a bit crap having uh, the skirting ending there, uh, just to cater for that. So what we can do is use this rope, tack it down, and at least that will then cover the uh, the kind of crack around the room. Actually, I think it's not bad looking. It's also a natural material. It's kind of okay. It's light brown, matches with the, the wood and everything. So yeah, that's uh, I got quite a lot there, but uh, we'll use it in these kind of awkward places. So here and, and out in the hall and whatnot. And then uh, the last really bad bit is uh, here. I'd love to tackle this uh, at the weekend or maybe before and uh, close these off and put some spots in. Um, so just like the, the hallway there behind. And uh, I've just been skimming the uh, the yeah, the roof surface on the inside there and did the roof window and all that during the week as well. Cabinets are ready. Uh, and the other big job here, but not that big, is uh, to do the plastering as I think I mentioned in the last video. And our patch panel is in and uh, the cables are all connected so yeah ready for the comms work to begin uh, maybe a quick look downstairs the next big job so we've been trying to concentrate on getting the bathroom done and uh, we had a bit of a, a slowdown as I was doing other things but uh, we've got a bit further today uh, so while I was doing the skirting I prepared the baseboard for our uh, wainscoting or lambare or panelling wherever you're from and um, got that on so I just need to give that uh, yeah, where the, the screws are filled need to get a sanding and then tomorrow I can paint it I'm going to hold off on telling you what the uh, colour we've picked uh, but we'll probably go with the cream from the hallway here on the clay and other plaster walls we want to make a bit of a feature of uh, of the wainscoting uh, because we're going to have a white unit in front of it with a white sink and uh, we don't want it to be too too bland. Oh, and the toilet is in. I can't remember what was that in the last video. And it works. Uh, so yeah, that's coming on good. And um, yeah, that's kind of it for now. Uh, the skirting needs to be done. And the only other really big news is I used the hop for the first time today. So making uh, espresso and it was bloody delicious so hard rock and espresso are keeping me going at this stage uh, but let's see what happens over the weekend gonna make a big push on it and uh, yeah I'll do another video on uh, Sunday or Monday